channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings this is going to be for aries sun moon rising and venus before we get into your reading aries i want to wish you guys all happy holidays hope you guys um are enjoying this time with your family and loved ones want to wish you guys the very best let's get into your reading let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to love and romance aries sun moon rising and venus also want to let you guys know for those that are interested in personal consultations or any of the services that we provide, you can go to our uh, online store and be able to purchase that on there. Uh, you'll be able to find the link at the end of each video. Let's get into your reading Aries. Let's see what is unfolding for you guys for this month of December 2021 in regards to love and romance. Spirit guides, what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2021? Are you guys excited for this new year to come? You guys definitely stay tuned for the January yearly readings that I do. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into it. Your first card here is the lover's card. You may be dealing with a Gemini. Um, this can also represent moon, sun, or rising. Um, this is the energy of a very intense and very deep connection. Um, you may actually be dealing with a person or your person of interest, maybe a person that is linked to you on a higher level type of connection. So you may be dealing with some type of soul tribe, soul connection, um, or a soulmate. Now the next card here is the Empress card. And this is the energy of uh, their actions and the actions coming towards you. So the Empress could represent a very loving type of energy, but it can also represent um, the, the action of taking non-action. Um, so what I mean by that is if you're currently dealing with a situation where you're wanting them to come or communicate uh, towards you, the action that they're taking is the Empress, which is them waiting around or taking some time to pull back their energy and see how things unfold. The Empress is always very passive um, in comparison to the Emperor card. The Emperor card would be that of taking action. So I don't see them taking much action for the remaining of the month of December. Um, could be almost like, a, I don't want to say self-entitlement, but it could be a bit of selfish type of energy as they are expecting for you to be the one to come towards them or to take some type of action. So they are on the receiving mode. Now your next card here is the Five of Cups. So the reason why they are being passive or they are waiting for you to be the one to extend the communication or to open communication or to come towards them is because there was a feeling of being either let down or a feeling of some type of disappointment. Um, now this could be, uh, this is in reference to uh, the clarification of their actions. So there is, I see them being very much in their feelings areas. There could have been a situation that recently came up um, where perhaps they felt like you were the one that was being a bit selfish or perhaps um, not really putting enough effort um, or enough energy in this connection. Keep in mind the energies that we have here is the lover's card. So the lover's card does represent a being at crossroads, having to make a decision or a choice. I feel that for the month of December, it's going to be very important and very crucial um, to make the decision. Is it worth putting effort? Is it worth continuing um, this connection or putting effort towards the connection? Um, again, I feel very heavily uh, you may be dealing with a situation where there was a feeling of some type of missed opportunity. Let me get some type of clarification here for you guys. How are they viewing Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the energy of how they're viewing Aries? So we have the Magician here. So the Magician is almost like knowing that the ball is in your court, Aries, or knowing that um, that could be the reason why they're being passive or waiting for you to be the one to extend the communication or extend the connection, um, make some type of effort or some type of move towards them. The magician is knowing that you have pretty much all the 
tools at your disposal to be able to decide whether you want to continue this connection or not. So for the month of December, I don't see them I don't see them really coming towards you or trying to put effort and energy towards this connection, but they are hopeful and they are hoping that you would be the one to take that action towards them, Aries. So um, really up to you. My advice would be, again, if keep in mind, you guys, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. Um, so the, the energies could be reversed. This could be you feeling like you put a lot of effort and energy and they're not really reciprocating that. So it's like expecting for them to be the ones to reach out to you. Um, whatever the situation is with the magician here, I feel like they know um, if it is you, the roles are being reversed. It could be them knowing that the ball is in their court. Um, and it's almost like because they're aware of this, it could be almost like a because with the Empress and the Magician and right at the center is the Five of Cups, it's like knowing your power, but being willing to give up that power. Um, so in the past, you've been the one that always overextends or you're the one that makes the effort and energy. It's time to pull back your energy, Aries, only because the Magician knows the power that you have. Um, and it's almost like in essence, kind of giving up that power because, uh, because you feel very strongly about this connection or because... Um, you've gone above and beyond, right, to make this connection or this relationship work um, with the Five of Cups, uh, getting to the point of feeling like you're um, an empty vessel or like you've put enough effort. Now it's time for them to um, at least meet you halfway. And the message that we have here, I want to trust you. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a situation if it is the partner, the one that's been putting effort. I feel like you're extremely guarded, Aries, for the month of December. It's going to be important for you to really, if you genuinely care for this person, to really put effort and energy towards reaching out and uh, trying to uh, show this person that you are interested in them. Uh, because the I want to trust you speaks to me about in the past, there's been some type of disappointment. Now, if the roles are reversed and it is you, the one that overextends, it's you, the one that puts effort. It's the one uh, you're the one that it continuously keeps wanting to work on the relationship. It's time to you to, for you, your energy uh, to be pulled back, to be able to allow them to step up, to be able to allow them um, to show you, to prove to you through actions that they want you in their life. No more chasing uh, for the month of December, Aries. I want to wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays to all of you guys, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.